Hey peeps, it's your girl Jess. Welcome to my channel, Caribbean Soul. In honor of today being my first episode, I thought I'd make one of my grandmother's most famous dishes, Guyanese style pepper pot. So stay tuned and I'll show you all the tips and secrets to making this fabulous recipe. chicken know anything about guiding style pepper pot well there's more to me than you know i was born to an american mom janice and a guyanese dad dexter growing up my parents weren't together but literally lived across the street from one another i used to say my grandmother's address was 109 dash across the street but growing up so close to both sides of my family really influenced my cooking style I became extremely knowledgeable about both cuisines from my grandmothers and other family members. So I think I know a little something something about both the Guyanese and American cuisine. But enough about me, let's get back to the main show. Here's what you're gonna need for your pepper pot. One roughly cut onion, orange peel. I used about three quarters of an orange. One whole hot pepper, ginger, Simply peel the skin and slice it thinly. You're also going to need scallions, roughly cut, celery, about four star anise, two cinnamon sticks, thyme, cloves, about a handful. You're going to need table ground black pepper, salt, I use sea salt, cashew. Now this is a non-negotiable. You're going to need cashew. It makes or breaks pepper pot. And also sugar. You're also going to need beef brisket, oxtail, stewing beef. These pieces you want to cut bite size. I already had mine marinated overnight for optimum flavor. I also use salted pigtail and cow foot. But there's a few steps you need to follow in order to prepare these items. Firstly, you're going to boil your pigtail with vinegar and water. For every cup of water, use a quarter cup of vinegar. Boil them for about 10 to 15 minutes. At the same time, soak your cow foot in water, vinegar, and salt. The water will start to get cloudy and cluttered with bone fragments. That's the good thing. You're starting the process of cleaning the cow foot. After 15 minutes, you're going to repeat the process, but this time with clove instead of vinegar. The clove is going to take away the vinegar taste from the meat. At the same time, again, drain off the water from the cow foot and wash thoroughly with lukewarm water. you to get rid of that rank smell as well as get rid of any debris or germs that the meats may be harboring. You want your meat in your pepper pot to be as clean as possible. Just strain off the water that the pigtail is being boiled in and set it aside. Turn off the aisle and we're ready for our next step. Okay, let's get cooking. You're gonna brown your oxtail and brisket separately. This will start developing the flavor of the pepper pot as well start to rid the meat of any excess oil. Once you get it all in there, give it a little stir and continue cooking until brown. After three to five minutes, remove the oxtail, drain and add to your crock pot. You're gonna do the same thing to your brisket. Add your meat to your pan, give it a little stir, brown for an additional three to five minutes and then add it to your crock pot. Next, you'll add your stewing beef, your pigtail, and your cow foot. It may be a little difficult, but try to give it a little stir at this point. Then we'll add all the ingredients mentioned earlier in the video. I know it seems like a lot, but just keep packing it on in there. It's going to cook down, trust me. Just keep packing, just keep packing, just keep packing, packing, packing. What do we do? We pack, pack. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, your final prep step. 
Get a container of water, about three quarts, and add four heaping spoons to your water. Along with this, add about a cup of sugar, two to tablespoons of salt, and one tablespoon of black pepper. Give this a really good stir. You want to make sure the cashmere and sugar are completely dissolved before adding it to your pot. Now pour the mixture over the meat until just about covered. Cover with the lid and allow it to cook for 8 to 10 hours. I know that seems like a long time, but trust me, the end results are totally worth it. After your time is up, this is going to be a final product. At this point, you might want to skim off any extra oils and re-season if necessary. And there you have it, Olive Sage Gaimi Style Pepper Pot. Mmm, it is so delicious. It's sweet, it's spicy from the pepper, and that orange flavor is bursting right through. You can serve this over rice, or you can have it with some bread. Traditionally, it's hard dough bread, but today I'm going to enjoy some honey meat. For the full recipes, check out the description box below. And hey, try it out for yourself. Tell me what you think. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again. Peace, love, carries.